In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a holiday Instagram template in Corel Draw. I'll show you how to create a background, add design elements, custom photo openings, add text, and more. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. First, open up Corel Draw, and then go to File, New to create a new document. Under Dimensions, I'll click on the drop-down box beside Page Size and select Custom. We're going to set the dimensions as the default square size for an Instagram post at 1080 by 1080 pixels, and set a 96 DPI resolution, and set the primary color mode to RGB. To save this as a preset, Click on the three dots beside the preset drop-down box and click Save Preset, and then name your preset. I'll call this Instagram Post Template and press OK. Now every time you open up Corel Draw, you can access your saved presets from this list here. Now press OK. The first thing I want to do is add a background. For this template, I want to create a solid color background. Double-click on the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle the size of the page. From here, select a color to fill the background. You can also remove the outline if desired, or make any adjustments to the width and color of the border. Now we're ready to create the photo openings. The first thing I'm going to do is create a few shapes that we'll use as frames for our chosen photos. I'll click on the Rectangle tool and hold down Control to drag out a square. Then I'll click on Common Shapes and select a heart shape and drag one out as well. Now select the shape you want to use as a frame. Click Object, Power Clip, Create Empty Power Clip Frame. Alternatively, you can right click the object, choose Frame Type, and click Create Empty Power Clip Frame. Now click on Import and select the images you want to use in your template, and press Import. Then click and drag to insert the images into our document on the left. Now drag the image to the power clip frame. When the object approaches the frame, the frame is highlighted. Simply release the mouse button to add the object to the empty frame. Now click Select Contents, and you can position the image where you want it within the frame, and drag on any of the nodes to resize the image as well. Let's repeat this with the second image. We can also adjust or remove the border around the photo frames by adjusting the outline settings on the Properties Docker. We can change the color of the border, increase the width, and even change the line style. Now we're ready to add some design elements. I have opened up this vector stock file, which you can download on the tutorial page, and I'm going to show you how we can use some of these elements in our template. There is more vector stock content that you can purchase in the store section of the welcome book. Simply use the pick tool to select any of the vector objects in the document. You can press and hold the shift key to select multiple objects that you want to use in your holiday template. Then go to edit, copy, and then edit paste into your template. Once again, we can use the pick tool to adjust the size and positioning of the vector objects. Let's add a drop shadow to some of the elements by clicking on the object. Then click on the drop shadow tool. Then drag from the object to where you want to place the drop shadow. You can adjust the opacity of the drop shadow by moving the slider and drag the end handle to change the direction of the drop shadow. I'll repeat this with a few other elements. We can even add some 3D effects to make these elements stand out. I'm going to select these Christmas lights, then go to Effects, 3D Effects, Emboss. Then select the original color for the emboss color and adjust the depth and level settings so the lights pop out more and press OK. We can also experiment with some of the artistic media tools. I'm going to select the Preset button, and then select White from the color palette. 
Then I'll draw out a bed of snow along the borders. I can adjust the position of the snow vector objects by dragging them in the Object Stalker, or go to Object, Order in front of, and click the background. Finally, let's add some text to complete our template. Click on the Text tool from the toolbox, and then click on your image and type out your desired text. From here, we can adjust the font type, size, and color. We can add an outline to the text by selecting the Contour tool, and then dragging out a border around the text. Once you're ready to export, you may want to use the Crop tool to crop the document to 1080 by 1080 pixels again, if you have any objects on the document that surpass the bounding box, such as the snow objects. This is easy to see if I view the document in wireframe. Once you've finished creating your template, you can export the finished design by going to File, Export For, then Web, and choose one of the PNG or JPEG presets to export as. Also, it's important to note that when we're dealing with bitmaps destined for the web, the DPI should be no more than 96 DPI to reduce file size. These are a few of the many ways you can have fun designing and creating your own holiday projects in Corel Draw. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.